let's see if we can figure that first part out. I've got the chords, I've got our E minor, and then A7. I do both of those in the first position, right? So, but, um, oh, then D, I've got a B minor, G, I play G in the first position, E minor, C, and A7. Now, we could strum those chords, that's not a problem. It sounds nice, it sounds like this, this song, right? Also play that melodically. So let's see if we can combine those two things together here. So I'm gonna, my E minor is going to be the same, right? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that. That's a um, G F sharp to an E. That's the first uh, part of the melody. Right. So I'm going to do that with the E, uh, my hand in the E minor shape. Now, so there's the chord. Now, the next chord I'm interested in is the A7 chord, and that's on the word kiss, right? So, close your eyes and I'll... So, kiss... Oh, nice. Kiss you is actually A to B. Kiss you, A to B. So, I can make an A up here. And then use my pinky finger to get the, <clears throat> the B uh, melody note. So, what we have so far is... Now I want to go up to, uh, uh, I'm at uh, A, B, uh, C sharp, and I want to go all the way up to um, a D, right? B minor again, so that's just a, um, actually uh, minor 6 is what I've got here, and I'm just using my first finger on the uh, this is the seventh fret of the one, two, three, and four strings. So I've got so far. And that last two notes uh, are um, miss you, miss you. So that's on the seventh fret of the one string and the seventh fret of the two string. Um, like so, those notes are. Um, uh, those notes are B and F sharp. So again. Now the next chord is going to be a G, but I could also get that up here, and it makes more sense uh, using this voicing, which is a D shape up on the seventh fret. There's the G right there. I remember back down to your uh, back down to an A. Now G always F sharp B uh, uh, back to a D, and then we've got C chord. I'm gonna do that in our first position, and then A7. So far we've got this. G. Again. And this is interesting. Uh, the, the chord here and always be true. Always be true as an E minor, so I can play that down here, but in the context of the, of the song, the voicing, uh, I think it actually sounds nice here. So it's like a D minor shape here, in the, and here's, here's my D, flat in the third for a D minor, D minor, and if I just move that up a whole step, there's an E minor, always B, and then C, or I can play either one of those, right, and then the A7, and then repeating A minor, a B minor, A7, D, B minor, just as a, B minor 6 actually, just as a, a bar across the first four strings, and all, G, that G is up on the 7th fret again, A, 
uh, this is an A, like an F shape, but on the fifth fret. And then to a D.